Welcome to episode 37 of Let's Play The Sims 2. We bring you back now to um, 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning at the house of Mike and Laura. Now, as you know, Laura is at work and the kids are at school. However, Mike has the day off. The only thing standing in the way of Mike and a promotion is gaining one friend. So he's going to do what he can to make friends with this guy that he saw randomly walking down the street at the end of the last episode. Also, as you re might remember, Laura is also up for a promotion. I think all that she needs is a good day at work and it might do it for her. She's been rapidly succeeding in recent uh, weeks. Alright. So, you might notice Mike's fun level is down a little bit. And I thought it would be a good idea for him to come in and watch some TV. And fortunately his buddy Edward, I guess his name is Ed, we'll call him, has decided to join him. They're watching the cooking channel, which is always good, but it doesn't give doesn't usually give them as much fun as something else. Most adults like the sim broadcasting station, so I'll just flip it over to there. Although, interestingly enough, I've had a few adults that like to watch Kid Tube. Speaking of kids, look at that uh silly little painting. I think Laura was doing that. I'm not exactly sure why would she be painting that, but that's okay. Yeah, some adults like kids' tubes, and I I bet that several of you can omit to liking kids' shows at points in your adult, adult lives. So, alright. Yep, Laura's in good shape. The kids are in good shape, too. And since we only have a little bit of time left before everyone gets home, I just decide to have Mike make lunch for everyone. That way, when they come home, they have something nice and warm to eat. He's a nice guy, and it will get him a cooking point that will certainly help him throughout his um, you know, career advancement. Not that I think... I'm pretty sure cooking, cooking points don't really factor into... Um, a athletic career, but it's good to have. And wait, what's this? Oh look, it's another neighbor. Let's say hello. I always say the more the merrier. There's very little downside to inviting these people into your house. I mean, they'll use the, you know, they might um, try to use the bathroom so many times and your family can't get in, but that's just about the worst of it. They don't, they never try anything more mischievous than you know, occasionally insulting someone for no reason, but usually they're good house guests. Anyway, it's three o'clock, and oh look at that, the kids are doing extremely well in school. And here's Laura, let's see what it says. Wait for it, and yes, Laura has been promoted. Now she is a science teacher. Isn't that kind of interesting? Now she's working at school. But see, her income is much higher, and she has a new set of requirements to get ahead. Fortunately, all she needs is one cleaning point, and to gain a friend as well. And here comes the kids home from school with their report cards. They do their customary little dance in front of the school bus, which... I wish the programmers had thought to make them take a few steps because Amanda has to finish her little dance before Lucy can even come out. And by the time that all happens, it takes a while. But it's okay. It's a minor thing. So everyone's home. Everyone is going to get some food. By the way, when I said that you need a certain number of friends, it's a certain number of family friends. So if Mike has three friends and Laura has four friends, that equals seven friends. So 
if you have a requirement for seven friends, that's enough. You don't have to have seven yourself. So it's very convenient. It's a way they can help each other get ahead. Now look at this. Very nice family dinner scene. All four of them around the table eating some food with a, you know, a nice house guest. It's definitely days like this that are very good to see for the uh, for the Lincolns. All right. Now Mike is applauding his daughter's success. As you can see, if you look at their grades below, you can see they both have A pluses. And that is very cool. That definitely makes me happy. Now anyway, <clears throat> despite only knowing him for, you know, the course of this video, Mike and Ed are hitting it off pretty well, so perhaps they can actually become friends. So I think that's something I want to try. Alright, Laura is going to go go to the bathroom and take a shower. And then she's going to work on that cleaning point she needs. She can always um, meet, uh, or you know, try to make a friend at a different time. Because she's in pretty good shape right now. Alright. So, the kids need to be in good enough shape to do their homework. So, they're going to come over and watch TV. Going to have Amanda clean herself up and then join them. Once uh, Mike and Laura are do done doing what they're doing and the kids are in better shape, I will have them help the kids with their homework again. Because that's the way to get it done fast. And since they have A pluses in school, uh, that's very much a good thing. I have Mike come over and talk to him. Now one thing I wanted to mention is you can get your kids into private school and while the house was a lot smaller that was something that I didn't really want to try because the pri getting into private school in this game is a very interesting process. First you have to, you have to do three things. You have to impress the headmaster with food which, you know, makes a lot of sense because food is very important to most men, as I can attest to. And secondly, you have to schmooze with him, you know, shoot the breeze. And thirdly, you have to give him a tour of your house. And the bigger your house is, the nicer it is, the better that tour will go. So that's something I might attempt to do in upcoming videos. I'm not sure, but it sounds like a good idea. So, so far, everything in this family's evening is going well. They're having fun talking and doing things. And before long, it will be time to do their homework. Alright, night has fallen, and I don't want to take too much longer, or else people will start to get to bed. But, we are running out of time for this episode. So... I think I'll cut it off here, and I will see you all on episode 38. And yes, building the mansion is coming soon. Not exactly sure exactly when, but it is coming soon. I promise you that. So long.